right, we're back with video number six in our Pro Tools basics, getting started with Pro Tools. We want you to record right away. You don't want to read a manual. So here we are. You can go back and check the earlier videos on all about the setup and MIDI. Today we're going to record some guitar tracks. We're going to edit them. We're going to make playlists. I'm going to show you all the tricks and shortcuts that I use. So let's dig in. Guitar two is going to be this sweet Tyler Strat. All right, so we want to record, I'm going to clean this mess up, and we want to record right in here, right? So if you want to punch in somewhere, you just go over the region, highlight it. We're going to put it in record, and we're going to hear two bars before, and it'll drop us in record and drop us out. So that's the idea. That was lame, that part, so I'm going to do it again. So I hit Command and the period right above it. What does that do? Command period gets rid of what you just recorded, and why did I do that instead of undo? If you undo, it just removes the last command, but the audio stays on your hard drive. If you hit Command period, it undoes and gets it off your hard drive, and um, if you're sure you don't want it, that's the best way to do it. All right, so let's say I thought that was okay, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna duplicate this playlist, keep everything that's there, and punch that part in again. Okay, so now we're gonna do something cool. I'm gonna duplicate this. We're gonna rename it comp. Now I'm not gonna, I'm not perfecting all these parts, obviously, I just wanna give you a little heads up. So we're gonna make the view bigger. And that time I did it by option rolling my trackball. So I, I like the little end bit on this one, right? But I wasn't so crazy about this part before. So I'm going to go back to the take, the first take, and cut this in and see if this is any better. That was better, but tell you what I think. I think I hit the middle two a little too hard. So rather than cutting in the other ones, I'm going to do Command E to separate these, right? And I'm going to highlight them. Now I'm going to just zoom out. And you see this little fader here? That's called a clip gain control. I'm going to bring that down like 3 dB. So it brings down the waveforms. Let's see what that did. All right, so I dig that. Command S. And then we're gonna clean these guys. All right, so after we clean them, what are we supposed to do? If you triple click, it will highlight whatever you have. Command F, batch fade, hit OK, done. Command S, save. Cool, so what did we get this time? We recorded two guitar tracks, and what we learned new this time was we learned how to make a playlist right here in this little menu and we did multiple playlists and we did editing across playlists by making a new playlist and calling it our comp playlist and we cut and paste it in and cut and paste it around we also learned that if we want to punch in and we're not sure about the punch and what we want to keep and not keep we can do a duplicate playlist and just punch in where we want to punch and still have the other as a fallback and then how do we punch in we learned we can highlight a certain area and it will only record in the area that's highlighted and take us out. No more of the old days of trying to catch it in and stopping it on the way out and the engineer's flipping because he can't get a certain spot or something gets erased. So we're covered that way. So thanks again for watching these Pro Tools Tips videos. We do appreciate it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so we can let you know when we have more like this coming. Feel free to send us any messages or comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you have any ideas or if I missed anything or if you have any key commands, shortcuts that I don't know about, I'd love to learn them from you. Thanks again.